Ever wondered what makes South Park's creators break a sweat? Since its debut, the show has been a magnet for controversy, consistently pushing the boundaries of humor, satire, and societal taboos. Let's dive into the most controversial episodes of South Park that had censorship alarms blaring and parental groups clutching their pearls. But before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons because your support helps us make more content for you. Number 10, Bloody Mary. In this episode, we meet Randy Marsh, a character who finds himself in the throes of alcoholism. You don't understand. I have a disease that is very sick. His journey through the trials of addiction leads him to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, where he's taught that he's powerless against his struggle. It's here that his path intersects with a miracle involving none other than the Virgin Mary. The episode features a statue of the Virgin Mary crying, and this unorthodox portrayal ruffled some feathers, particularly within the Catholic community. The depiction of the statue, combined with the humor that South Park is known for, managed to provoke strong reactions. The Catholic League demanded not just an apology, but also that the episode be banned. The inclusion of Pope Benedict XVI in the episode added another layer of complexity to the situation, garnering even more attention. Number 9. It Hits the Fan In the episode titled It Hits the Fan, South Park managed to generate quite a buzz with its subplot involving explicit images. God damn it, Kenny, don't get your plague germs on me! What initially seemed like a series of misunderstandings surrounding a supposed repeat offender actually turned out to be a humorous spin on the character Indiana Jones. The beloved adventurer was portrayed in a funny way, and to add to the surprise, the creators even brought in Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, playfully acknowledging the world of movies. Number 8. The Shit Back in the year 2001, when television was a bit different from what we see today, South Park aired an episode that managed to stir up quite a bit of controversy. The episode centered around the use of a certain word that starts with shit and rhymes with fit. On TV, they're gonna say shit. While this word might not raise an eyebrow now, it was rather a big deal at the time. The episode revolved around the concept of forbidden words on TV. Stan was fascinated by this idea, while Kyle appeared less interested. The word shit was used repeatedly throughout the episode, a total of 162 times to be exact. This high frequency of usage was quite a shock to the system, and it managed to strip the word of its typical shock value. While the episode might not have been the most well-received by certain groups, the bold approach of incorporating the controversial word into the script actually worked in making it a memorable episode. Number 7. Trapped in the Closet Trapped in the Closet is an episode that dares to explore the world of Scientology. It delved into the religion's unconventional beliefs, revealing details that had rarely been portrayed in mainstream media. The episode introduced viewers to the church's teachings, including an unusual story involving an alien figure named Xenu. This revelation was rooted in actual Scientology doctrine, giving the episode an added layer of intrigue and authenticity. The portrayal of Scientology's practices, including brainwashing and manipulation, raised eyebrows and garnered attention, not least from the Church of Scientology itself. Your son deserves to be enlightened. Stan, do you want to hear the great secret doctrine of life behind Scientology? The episode even took a satirical jab at the well-known actor Tom Cruise, who was associated with the religion. This led to discussions about the boundaries of humor and the impact of satire on sensitive topics. Trapped in the Closet exemplifies South Park's willingness to address contentious subjects head-on, with a blend of humor and social critique that has become its hallmark. Number 6. Strong Woman South Park's unique brand of humor has often delved into sensitive topics, and Strong Woman is no exception. This episode dives into the realm of gender identity in sports with a touch of the show's signature irreverence. I've never competed against her before, no. She's not exactly your average trans athlete. Heather Swanson's character becomes a focal point, exemplifying how conversations surrounding transgender individuals can easily become tangled and contentious. Through humor and exaggeration, the show underscores the challenges of discussing such complex matters without offense. The portrayal of characters struggling to express opinions without inviting backlash resonates with a society grappling with similar struggles. Number 5. With apologies to Jesse Jackson In this controversial episode of South Park, contestant Randy's incorrect guess on a word puzzle results in him being labeled with a derogatory term. He tries to make amends by visiting Jesse Jackson, creating a scholarship foundation and lobbying Congress to ban the offensive phrase. The episode balances between satire and cruelty, featuring the unbleeped use of the N-word and portraying Jesse Jackson in a self-appointed role. So you were solving was people who annoy you. Well, like anybody else thought it was naggers. I mean, right? Another subplot involves sensitivity training, with one character reacting inappropriately. The NAACP-linked Abolish the N-Word organization praised the episode for its educational value, while the Parents Television Council objected to its content. 
L. Brent Basel, the PTC's white founder, criticized the positive response and named it the worst cable content of the week. Number 4. Blaintology In this particular South Park episode, the gang of kids gets caught up in something called Blaintology, a funny take on a group similar to Scientology. Alright, I'll build a stage. Lao Tzu, use mind control to get a huge audience! It all starts when David Blaine, a magician who's become a TV star, forms a sort of religious club. But instead of being all serious, the show uses this to poke fun at how people can get swept up in these kinds of things. The gang starts following Blaine and his magic tricks, losing themselves in the process. It's kind of like a big joke on the way people sometimes let themselves be influenced by charismatic figures, even if it's silly. To get their friends back, Stan and the gang call on their old buddy Jesus, who's shown as not so great at magic compared to Blaine. They also call on the super best friends, who are like a goofy version of superheroes based on religious figures. This makes fun of different religions by mixing them up with superheroes, which, to be honest, was bound to ruffle some feathers. Back then, it didn't cause much trouble, but later on, people got more upset about it, and the episode got banned because of the way it played around with religious figures. Number 3. The Muhammad Problem In the episode titled 201, the show dives into a really tricky topic. It's about drawing the Muslim prophet Muhammad in a cartoon. The funny thing is, they actually did this before without any big fuss. But now, because of some cartoons in a far off place, things have changed and showing Muhammad has become a big no-no. The show kind of makes a joke about how things can flip-flop. The episode focuses on how tricky it is to balance freedom of speech and not hurt people's feelings. Comedy Central, the channel that airs South Park, got worried about offending people, so they bleeped out parts of the episode. This made the characters on the show frustrated and they acted out in a funny way. They even tried to stop another show, Family Guy, from causing trouble by doing weird things like eating fruit roll-ups. It's all a bit silly and makes fun of how things can get blown out of proportion. The show kind of guessed that the episode would be banned, which is kind of like predicting the future. It's like South Park was making fun of the chaos that happens when things change and how hard it is to make everyone happy. Number 2. The Muhammad Problem Again In a bid to celebrate reaching their 200th episode milestone, the creators of South Park decided to journey through their own past. They wanted to remember all the times they made fun of celebrities in the show, but what really caught people's attention was their decision to bring back the Muhammad issue. You see, they wanted to see if they could still push the boundaries like they used to. The story was about bringing Muhammad to the town, and some characters even remembered the time when he appeared before without any big fuss. But things got serious this time. People got really mad, not just in the United States, but all around the world. People who follow the Muslim faith were really upset, and some even threatened violence. Because of this, the people who made the show decided to remove Muhammad from the episode. It turned out that threats can have a big impact. The episodes were banned everywhere because of the tension and fear they caused. Number 1. Banned in China Randy, one of the characters in South Park, had a clever idea. He thought they could sell their special Tegrity product to people in China and make lots of money. So he flew all the way to China hoping to make a deal. But guess what? Many others had the same idea. It's like when you want to play with the same toy as everyone else. Randy didn't realize that what he was doing was against the rules in China. He got in trouble and was put in jail. Luckily, another character named Mr. Mouse helped him out and talked to the Chinese government. They agreed to work together. However, things got worse. They showed something about rare rifles in the show, and this made the Chinese government very, very angry. They got so angry that they said the show was not allowed in their country anymore. Even the online places where people usually watch the show were blocked. The creators of South Park said sorry, but it didn't seem like they really meant it. Because of this big mess, the show became forbidden in China, and people couldn't watch it anymore, not even on the internet. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.